Hey, good day, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. I am driving through the town of Marion, Indiana. I mean, no, I mean Marion, Alabama. Correction. I'm driving through the town of Marion, Alabama. Now, of course, there is this thing as American Indiana, for those of you that are not from Indiana that are currently watching this channel. And I did do some videos in American Indiana, but this is American Alabama, though. Turn left onto Green Street, then turn left onto Jackson Street. Turn left onto West Monroe Street, then turn left onto Jackson Street. So, so welcome to the town of Marion, Alabama. Now this town has got a population of 3,049 people. And this town has been losing people at a rate of 4.4% as of the 2020 census. Turn left onto Jackson Street. Now the medium home price here is $104,500. So the medium home price here is fairly low, especially considering this current housing market. In 1,000 feet. Now this is a lot of, now this quite a bit of history that I wrote down about this community, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna attempt to read it while I'm driving, which I'm probably not, because I mean, a lot of times if I got a significant amount of information about Turn the right onto Washington Street, then turn right onto Jefferson Street. A lot of times if I got a significant amount of information about a community, I'm not going to read it all during the video. Turn right onto Jefferson Street. Turn right onto Pickens Street, then turn right onto East Lafayette Street. Turn left onto Green Street, then turn left onto Washington Street. Now, this town was founded by Jimmy Wilson in 19... Yeah, well, no, not mine. I'm reading the wrong notes. That's something else I was going to read. So I'm probably going to pick a area to where I can stop and I'm going to read some history real quick and then I'll keep it moving because I don't like doing a whole bunch of reading and at the same time I'm driving I just, I'm not good at doing two things at once like that I'm real lousy at it to be quite honest so I'm gonna turn left onto Washington Street then turn right onto Jefferson Street so I'm gonna follow this GPS just so it cuts off that way. I don't have to continue to listen to the GPS while I'm doing the rest of this video. Turn right onto Jefferson Street.
All right, folks, I'm going to stop off here just for a second. Read you off a little bit of information. Now, here's some history about Marion, Alabama, which is here in Perry County. It is a half hour away from Selma, Alabama. So here's some history. In 1958, Jimmy Wilson, a black man, was sentenced to death for stealing a dollar ninety-five from Estelle Baker, which I'm assuming is was another resident of this community. And this case, I apparently this case. Uh, was a case that made that made news all over the United States even at that time. In 1964, Marion was the center of the civil rights protest in Al here in Alabama. In 1965, there was a march in the height of the Selma voting rights during the Southern Christian leadership. Jimmy Lee Jackson was murdered by, uh, by an Alabama state trooper in 1965, but the case wasn't brought to justice until 2007. Now Fowler, the name of the state trooper who murdered Jimmy Lee Jackson I mean he pled guilty to the murder charge apparently but he was only charged with a man he was only charged with manslaughter which that case ended in 2010 and then in 2009 there was a three year family fruit a, fa a three year old family feud that turned into a 150 man riot outside the city hall now I did not look super deep into what the feud was about to be quite honest but in this particular situation eight people got arrested two people got hospitalized and this situation made national news apparently so anyone who's watching this video that knows about Marion, Alabama, or you know what I'm talking about, feel free to enlighten us in the comment section. And also, there was a major outbreak of tuberculosis. I can't pronounce it right. There was a major outbreak of tuberculosis in 2014 and 2015 where three people died. This story was reported by the New York Times in 2016. So, and, so that's just a little bit of history of this community. Now, let's keep on driving. Now this, whoa, 
Now this community over the last probably two or three decades, give or take, has been hit relatively hard with poverty. I mean, maybe not as bad as some Alabama, but it's been hit pretty hard. And I would say many of your Western Alabama communities have been hit pretty hard with poverty. I mean, this community's been hit pretty hard. I mean, without even doing any research, I can look around and tell. I can tell because, like, you have a lot of, I mean, for starters, you got a lot of overgrowth going on. And plus, a lot of your traffic signs the letters on a lot of your traffic signs have all faded away. Now it looks like there are some newer houses that have been recently built. I just drove by one a minute ago, but you guys probably did not see. Now, according to the data, the crime in this community appears to be much higher than national average. And I didn't bother writing down the numbers, but just know if you come to this community for any reason, the crime, according to the statistics, is going to be much higher than the national average. Now, I will say all the top, you know, some of these areas don't look too bad. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm looking at some of these areas and then some of these areas look like the people have an element of pride. Now, I'm driving by a low-income housing community at this particular moment, which the... It looks like crap. I mean, it, look, it looks like crap. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to be nosy today. These, oh, these are the Marion Manor Apartments. So maybe they're not a low housing community. They're regular apartment complexes. The people who live in them just don't give a damn about nothing. And I finally got my Alabama driver's license and my Alabama license plates. So now when I do these videos here in Alabama, people might not look at me so hard. Because before, I had my Indiana tags on. So I just recently got my tags changed into Alabama. Bumps up in this street. Don't know where that's leading. Yeah, these speed bumps out here are pretty, are pretty uh, steep.
In fact, when I came into this community, I didn't even see a, a welcome sign like Welcome to Marion or Marion City Corporation I mean, or Marion City Limit sign. I didn't see none of that. And the more that I do these videos here in Alabama, the more that I notice here in Alabama, there tends to be a lot more dirt roads and narrow roads compared to compared to Indiana. So if you're looking to move to Alabama and you're looking to move to one of the smaller communities or rural communities of Alabama, just understand that there's going to be a lot of places where you're going to have roads like this roads that are super narrow or roads that aren't even paved take another circle here show you guys some treasures see if I can get it here
Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to get to where I, was, where I was wanting to get to. So I'm going to keep it moving. Anybody want to buy a house? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure whoever owns this house will be happy to sell it.